Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. First of all, I want to wish everybody in the States a happy Thanksgiving. I am going to be making some stuffing in this video. I have some of that tomato basil bread that I received from the food bank. I'm gonna try something new and let's turn that tomato basil bread into a stuffing. So that's what I'm gonna do and I thought I'd bring you guys along. This is the only video I'm gonna have today. We're actually gonna be doing our Thanksgiving on Saturday. So um, we're kind of just chilling today, gonna be organizing the garage. We did get our elk back yesterday. So that is going to be another video. Kind of break down the cost and just show you what kind of meat and how much meat you can get from one elk. So stay tuned for that. If you are new here, my name is Carolina. I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, pantry cooking, and canning and preserving on my channel. I am also doing a little more homesteading as well, like with the elk. So if that is the kind of content you are into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. We would love to have you join our family. So let's get into this stuffing. I'm going to show you what I have so far and just show you how to throw this together real quick. So let's get over to the stove. All right, everybody, so what I have so far, here are my breadcrumbs. Now, this was the big loaf of tomato basil bread and I cubed it up and I put the cubes in a Ziploc in the freezer just until I was ready for them. And then I broke it out this morning and I dried them in the oven. If you have a dehydrator, you can put them in there. But I chose the oven because I'm going to be baking it for stuffing anyway. So you can do 200 degrees and I did 40 minutes because it was frozen. And then these have dried out nicely. You know, they're not hard as a rock. Well, that one is. <laughs> the rest of them are, you know, a little softer. So I don't know if I'm going to use all of this, but that's what I have so far. Anything left over, you can always turn into a breadcrumb. And then for our ingredients, I have some stock here, oregano, parsley, basil. I'm going to be dicing up an onion. We're gonna put one stick of butter first. I know that seems like a lot, but that's why this is so good. And you can use any kind of bread with this, guys, like a um, cornbread would be good, leftover cornbread. Oh, sourdough would be good. And then I got two eggs, and this calls normally, normally you put celery in stuffing, but I don't have any, and I don't really like celery anyway, so I'm gonna have a I have a can of shredded carrots that I canned up and they're kind of mushy and stuff, but I think this would be a good application for them. So I'm gonna drain this off and add some of this to my mix. But for now, let's dice up this onion. And then I have my scrap bag here that I keep in the freezer that's got like parsley stems, pepper, ends, onion, Onion, frozen onion tops, things like that that I'm gonna use for stock. Speaking of stock, I need to talk to you guys. I don't wanna hear any word from anybody that you're throwing away that turkey carcass, all right? You better be making your own stock this year. If you've been watching me, you know that you need to be making your own stock. It is delicious. And that turkey that you're cooking today, those bones, oh, they're gonna be so good. If you need help, Join my Facebook group, I'll link it below, ask for help. I will also link my video down below where I made stock out of my turkey from last year. So make your own stock. Don't be telling me you're throwing it away. Make me come get you. All right, my butter sizzling, let's go. Get me all worked up here. <laughs> all right, so let's save these skins for our stock. And then we'll dice this up. Man, that's a lot of butter. It's called perhaps a stick of butter. Alright, so I'm just gonna slice my onion in half. Whoa, calm down, butter. You see that? It's ready. So you want your heat at like a four to a five. Do this nice and slow. Okay. In the pot. Remember when you're scraping something from your cutting board to flip your knife over and use the back of your knife so you're not dulling your knife quicker. It helps keep it sharper longer. I 
so we're just gonna let this cook for like five minutes or so just low and slow let the onion flavor that butter and let that butter cook the onion and then I am going to strain this and get this dried up and probably dice these a little smaller I decided not to dice these. Those look just fine. Now the good thing about stuffing, it's usually onions, carrots, and celery. But you can add what you like, what you have on hand. Everything's adaptable. All right, I'm gonna let this cook for a couple more minutes and then we'll add some of the seasonings. All right guys, so it's been five minutes. Five minutes. As soon as the kids start crying that a house smells like onions, you know it's done. <laughs> So I'm gonna add some basil. Now you can do like thyme, rosemary, uh, you could do sage would be really good if you're doing sage in this. Since mine's sun-dried tomato basil bread, I'm gonna kind of play off that a bit and do more basil, oregano, and then some dried parsley. And then if you put all your herbs in while it's still cooking, that's gonna activate some of the oils in there and it's gonna make them a really potent. You can do this with like your Mexican herbs too when you're doing like cumin and chili powder. Like put it in in a dry pan with some fat and that'll get the oils flowing and really enhance that flavor. Well, this is the pan we're gonna use. I got the biggest bowl I own because you know how I Please make stuff too big. You know how I never get a big enough bowl. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the whole, whole loaf. And then this is smelling good, so I'm gonna turn it off. Add it to our bowl here. got my two eggs I'm gonna use for the batter open up my stock here all right so I'm just gonna mix the broth and the eggs together Also don't salt my broth so, so I'm gonna add some seasoning to this pepper some garlic powder and some salt okay let's add this to our bread gonna toss that together now if you want to keep this vegetarian then you can just use a different like a veggie stock or the corn cob stock would be good for this too I thought I saw it there all right so get that nice and tossed I'm going to use my 9 by 13 cast iron pan here. So it's even. Push it down. Mm. 
And you're gonna cover this with foil and you're gonna bake it at 350 for 45 minutes. All right, the 45 minute timer went off. So we're gonna take this off. I'm gonna poke it a bit. Oh yeah, that looks good. And then I'm gonna cook this for 15 minutes just to get the top nice and crunchy. All right guys, so it's been that last 15 minutes and I just pulled it out and it looks delicious. I might steal this piece and give it a taste. Oh. oh. Should have grabbed a second piece. <laughs> So I was a little worried about the stuffing being dry because it didn't have a lot of moisture when I poured it in there. But this is delicious. Like I like how the top's kind of crunchy, but the center of the casserole is still really gooey. And I can tell that this is gonna be a super moist stuffing. I could see even adding sauces to this. You could add bacon, mozzarella cheese. You could do like a pinchetta in there or bacon just to kind of make it like a whole meal if you wanna elevate the stuffing. You could add more eggs and kind of make it like a strata. Oh, that was so good, guys. That's all the cooking I'm gonna do today. I'm actually gonna save this and reheat it on Saturday when we're having our Thanksgiving. So this will be perfect. I have one dish done. All you gotta do is put the foil back on it and bring it back up to temperature and that stuffing's gonna be perfect. So this can be a make-ahead dish if you need it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, happy Thanksgiving, and I'll catch you next time on Mama Baird's.